Welcome to 768 Carriage Crossing, located on a cul-de-sac. I'm going to show you where you are. Right next to you here is the retention pond, which retains no water, but it is a place for the water to run when it rains. It rained absolutely like Noah's flood yesterday, and you can see that today it's, there's nothing there. So it will be a good thing. It will keep the water away from your house, and it will not retain water. So you are not going to have mosquitoes, etc. But enough about the outside, the location. Let's take a look at this beautiful house. You can hear the security system is already in place, and look what a lovely view you have right here from the front door. A stunning coffered ceiling with recessed lights on the perimeter and a beautiful fan light kit in the middle. And as we walk straight ahead, we have a very large, generous dining area, which is completely open as you can see to the great room and take a look at this kitchen. Now let's check out once more though the great room from this perspective and you can see let's go back and take a look at the beautiful detail work in the foyer with the judges panel and chair railing your solid wood door with transom windows and little lights on top and look at that beautiful stained board ceiling there. And of course, the oil rubbed bronze light fixtures throughout the house. This all granite kitchen features a marvelous island, lots of storage space, therefore, in the island, as well as all of the counters and cabinets all around this U shape. Here you have lots of drawers and your garbage pull out your corner sink with a garbage disposal and you can look out onto the backyard beautiful subway tile and decorative tile backsplash coordinates with this granite selection coordinates with these tiles on the floor some glass door cabinetry and here is the appliance garage see that plug back in there you can keep something plugged in like your toaster coffee maker blender shove it back in shut the door and instant clean and here is a pantry definitely what you want when you're the cook look at that beautiful Now let's go on to the master suite. This is a split as well as an open floor plan. On this side down this hall, that's the door to the garage and the laundry. And here is your master bedroom. This floor plan has three walk-in closets. Here's walk-in number one. And here in the master bath, we'll take a little panoramic view here of everything. We'll start to our right with this granite countertop, higher level vanity with two sinks, two beautifully framed mirrors, and the rectangular undermounted sinks. Here you have a private water closet behind door number one. And behind door number two is walk-in closet number two. Here you have a jetted tub with a privacy window. Look how beautifully it's finished out. Look at all the pediment work and the stunning tile backsplash. Behind this door, 
I'll take behind what's behind door number three, and that is your third walk-in closet. And last but certainly not least, this glass door goes to a double-headed shower, very generously sized, and look at those wonderful shower heads. Two corner shelves. It's like walking into a work of art. So let us do the panoramic view once more. If we could focus, that would be good. The heat gets to my camera. There we go. There we go. Back through the master bedroom, and while we're on this wing, we'll check out the laundry. Beautiful tile floor, built-in cabinetry and hang-ups, and the garage. So you can see here in South Georgia, that's where we store everything, is in the attic, not in the ground. There's your breaker box and your irrigation system. Now, we're back in the great room. We're going to go across to this beautifully arched entry to three guest bedrooms and your guest bath. Let's check out this front bedroom first with a vaulted ceiling, a triple window that looks outside, and a nicely sized closet. Here you have your guest bath with two sinks, granite again, rectangular undermounted, beautifully framed mirrors, and look at this very jazzy floor. Your tub shower combo, again the oil rubbed bronze fixtures. All coordinated with each other throughout the house. And then you have two more bedrooms. Here is a linen closet, just so you can see how nicely used is all the space. So this is the middle bedroom. It has two closets and then one more bedroom, which is at the behind of the kitchen, really. It's not at the rear of the house with a nice little inset cubby there with a window and a good sized closet. And I think we need to go outside in the back and see what else this beautiful home has to offer. One more look as we pass through. <laughs> we come out onto a covered porch that has some nice recessed lights in the stained ceiling. Catch a little bit of that breeze. An open patio for your grill. And you back up to Fry Street, which is not a big street. So, no backyard neighbors. Lots of privacy. 768, carriage